Awesome. Great. Thanks for that. All right. Well, let's get started. Um, thanks, everybody, for being here for this lightning talk. Um, this is going to be a demo of some highly visual, interactive, easy to use authoring tools for building landing pages in Drupal 8 and Drupal 9. Um, really excited to be here and to be talking with you guys about this. So my name is Justin. I work at Atten Design Group. Atten is a strategy, design, and development company. Uh, we work with mission-driven organizations all over the world to help plan, design, build, and grow digital products that drive their missions forward. We've been working with Drupal for a really long time, since about 2006. Um, and this is our 14th consecutive year having the opportunity to sponsor DrupalCon North America. So really excited to be here. And I am specifically really excited to be sharing some of this content with you all today. So thanks again for dropping in. All right, today, um, first of all, this is gonna be real quick. We've got about nine minutes here to cover quite a bit of material. Um, this is going to be a live demo showing some authoring experience tools specifically for building landing pages in Drupal. There will be very little time, in fact, no time at all, um, for questions or much conversation today. Um, if you want to learn more about any of this, and I hope you do, please check out atten.io slash AX for some resources. Uh, one of those resources is actually a webinar that we'll be doing this Wednesday, diving in a little deeper with everything that we'll be talking about here or the things we'll be showing here. On Wednesday, we can have a chance to talk about how uh, what I'm going to show today, which is mostly based on layout paragraphs, is similar but not the same as Layout Builder. We can talk about how to configure this, how to get this running for your own Drupal 8 or 9 website. Should have plenty of time for Q&A. Also show how this might look on a uh, vanilla out-of-the-box Drupal install. So it just can cover a lot more material during that webinar. Again, that's listed from atten.io slash AX if you check that out. A um, couple important concepts just before we dive in. This is all built on existing Drupal systems. And it's, you know, it's all based on Drupal modules, things that you can just go download right now. Um, primarily, this is based on the Paragraphs module, uh, which is in Contrib, Layout API, which of course is in Core, and Layout Paragraphs, which is also in Contrib. So this works entirely with Core and Contributor modules. Again, big takeaway is you can absolutely do this on your own website if you're running Drupal 8 and Drupal 9. So with that, I'm going to toggle over try to toggle over um, to our agency website, which I'll be using as an example here. I'm just going to adjust these windows a little bit so we can keep the captioning at the bottom of the screen. Hopefully, everyone can still see captioning there. Great. OK, so let's jump in. Um, this is our website, atindesigngroup.com. As you can see, I am logged in as an administrator, and I have this toolbar across the top of the page, kind of the standard Drupal admin toolbar. We have some edit tabs here associated with this piece of content. I'm going to bounce over to the Manage Content tab from here, Add New Content. I'll be showing these tools in the context of a case study on our site. It's really important for us to be able to create, really flexibly create um, different kinds of stories for our case studies. And so to be able to intermix different types of content really easily. What we are looking at right here is a fairly standard Drupal node create page. Um, there are two customizations I will point out. One is we're using the same theme for the front end, the same custom theme for the front end that we also use for node creation pages. So it looks very similar to what you see in the front end. The second customization is we have pulled out this special field that I'm going to be talking about, the layout paragraphs field, or it's really a paragraphs field with a layout paragraphs widget applied. We've pulled that out into its own tab just to create this really clean, simple editing environment um, for writers. And so to, to help writers kind of immediately connect with the content they're trying to create. Um, otherwise, this is basically what you would get with layout paragraphs directly out of the box. So when we hit the edit content page, the first thing we have here is this plus button to start creating content. I'll hit that. Our only option at this point is a section. 
create a new section. The layouts are all provided by, again, the core layout API system or the layout discovery system in Drupal 8. I'll stick with a one column layout. We see that section immediately drop in place in the editor here. I'll go into the section, just into this region within the section, add a new component. We now have additional options since we're clicking inside a region instead of at that kind of highest level. I'm going to choose a masthead, which is what we use for the kind of title component of all of our case studies. I'm just going to grab, do as little typing and as much copying and pasting as I can today. So grab a title. And subtitle. And I must have hit my back button. Let's go through here again quickly. All right, so subtitle. And title. I'm going to choose some. Raleigh images from the image library. Place those. I'll skip the rest of these fields. We'll just leave the link alone for now and hit save so you see how this works. It drops this content immediately onto the page. Again, um, keeping, making it really clear kind of the connection between the authoring experience and the actual content that's being produced for content writers or authors. I like this content to be maybe a little bit more, more dramatic to kind of pop off the page a little better. I'll choose a background color for the section, switch to a light on dark or reversed theme for this section. And again, we see those changes take place immediately. Let's quickly add a second section. I'm going to stick with one column. We'll add this time a much simpler text component. Grab some text and paste that in. Um, all of this is draggable. I could move this text block anywhere I want to on the page. We'll add another text component. Drop this in. And again, really easy to rearrange these. So we could easily move them. Um, you know, reorder these. We can use these handles to reorder them. There's also this keyboard reordering where you can click the handles and use your keyboard to move that around or move the arrow keys to move it around. I'm going to lay this out just a little bit different. One difference between layout paragraphs and layout builder, I can actually go in and switch the layout. So rather than having to remove that section and re add it as a different layout, I can change that and then quickly drag, drag over this text. Now I'll just create one more section for our demo today. This time we'll go with three column. Again, choose a background color. Apply that custom reversed theme via the CSS class. Drop in some text. Then I also want to just quickly show what it's like to interact with other forms of media. We'll create a slideshow. Once again, narrow this down to images related to Raleigh. Grab a handful of images. Hit save. We can see that again immediately take effect in the interface. That is just about all we have time for today toggle back to these slides. Um, once again, if you have questions and would like to learn more about anything that you've seen here, please do check out atten.io slash AX, where we have a list of resources. Um, again, one of those is an upcoming webinar later this week where we can dive into how to make this work on your Drupal 8 or 9 website. The main module that's driving all of this is layout paragraphs, which is available on drupal.org at drupal.org slash project slash layout underscore paragraphs. And finally, um, I do a lot of work with this stuff, a lot of work uh, working with our clients with this, with our team with this. I'd love to answer any questions directly um, and just connect with you guys individually if you want to reach out to me directly via email. So thanks, everybody. 
appreciate your time today and have a fantastic rest of your conference. Cheers.